we need two analysts here for sure. What you got for this year? Garen Midlane. <laughs> yeah, close. Keep your eyes on that. Red buff up and available. Look at that life. In. He does get the first plus shield. He's going to back off. It's a lot of damage. Flash to safety. Goes up. Comes down. Get and goes with the first blood. Red buff taken down, but now he's in trouble. Faker on the way in. It's going to be the ult. Not the ult, the teleport instead. Reckless now getting cut down as well. This is disastrous for Team Ice. Mithy trying to make the hero play, but Bangy is just too tanky. Flash takes him to safety. Wayless was making the big run plays. We're not gonna done walk yet. back into lane. Sure. Getting caught up by a second. The ignite goes down. Faker's in trouble. He's gonna heal up a decent amount. True damage is there. Oh! Okay. Garen spinning to win. The ice mark comes out. Mithy's backing up as well. Bangy Silas locked up. There's decent damage. Red buffs on both sides. He spins it! It's the double! Garen's back, boys! Are you kidding me? We're watching! You know, the first tournament, at least, they've played together on a team, so it is a bit of novelty there. So much damage coming in, but marked you notice, out as the villain. You notice the difference, though, see? The big story is Soas, though. Soas, Soas bites him. I'm taking so much damage. Soas healing so much as well. Will be cursed. Goes forward, flashes. Maybe wants a little bit more. Tatic! Solo kill! And that's how you deal a lot of damage. You're 1v1 here. There's no jungler for... So as may have been knocked out of the 1v1 bracket, but still getting his opportunity to 1v1 on the top side. But Peke, it's a similar story. There's three members there. I don't know if he wants this fight. Goes in, still alive. Knocks down Demacia onto Bangi. Mad Life is next, and Ice is taking control. So many curve. Things so far looking good. Looking bad for Baker, though. Garen in the bush. This is the classic. Haven't seen it since season three. And now Peke running for his life. But Minty's here to back him up. All goes in. No silence on the Garen. They're gonna take that one down. Peke now running for his life. He's gonna get hooked up. Peke set to fall, and that's a shutdown on Defeat. Call me once. He should have that on his mind. And they want more. They've already got two kills. They're looking at Reckless. The minion wave's not where it needs to be, though. So they're gonna back away, at least for now. Bliss going forward, getting aggressive. Does have ultimate. Is he gonna use it? Yes, comes out. Getting aggressive here, Prank. Trying to heal up the minion wave. The minion wave hitting him as well. Reckless, can he get this flash forward? Is he gonna be able to grab it? Oh! Yeah, he got it! Oh! One for one in the end. But now, Fire moving onto the tower. Well, Reckless knew. More members from Team Fire were coming to the bottom lane, and there's no way out. Just had to try and take down Prey with him. Yank is in the top stop. lane. Acceleration gate Tags waiting as long as possible. They can't look for the dive. Does hit the CC. There go the tentacles, and now it's a party under the tower. So as one final smack to take him down. Yeah, now the they're doing him a side brush is what you want, actually. Right. You want him marshalling a big minion wave, then assassinating someone. It's too greedy to take it. Goes wide, of course, he does have the ultimate. He's just waiting for the silence to time out. Now Bangy's in there, and that's a party in the mid lane. Baker taking down with the Ignite. Wants a little bit more action. A lot. This is the wombo combo potential we talked about this in Champion Select. Well, Bangy, the they're they're gonna go wall. forward. Bangy, can he hit the plant? Can he make it out? Doesn't look like it. Yes! No! Gets knocked out mid-air. Reckless cutting him down. Fire. Or fire, yeah, falling a little short there. And Peke here has the blue buff. We talked about this before. It's going to be a long, slow yeah, teleport. Duel. Ignite does go down, trying to deny the healing. Baker, who's on the way in. Soaz is here. Prey is here as well. There's not any CC. Want to get more damage, but not enough. Karen Alt is not going to be there. But Baker caught out. That's a lot. Mithy from over the wall. Looks like Mad Life could be next. That's a lot of burst damage right up front. Soaz looking for a little bit more. As you all not going to connect. Mad Life trying to make it out. Prey looking for the disengage for his team. But Mithy flies Mithy. forward. He connects. Yeah, but again, we have now seen Euro for the last five minutes. Get Garen out of the mid lane and actually start moving around. They're going for Faker. Oh, stun goes in. Silence goes in. He's not going to be able to ult. Will he get it up in time? Yes, that's a massive seal from the Courage of the Colossus, but not enough Courage to close this one out. Peke says die, Baker die, and makes it look all too I mean, easy. no one was coming. There's three on the top. Final is Bengi's going to face Jeff, but he has a Banshee Veil. He'll be all right. Uh, specifically in the final, against Poppy, his build was very similar. That cleaver into armor penetration was able to beat Poppy. Should be good oh, here as Bengi. Night goes down. He's going for more. Peke just does not care. Multiple members in front of him. Bengi going to live anyway. Mad Life is the one taking all the damage, though. It's absolutely massive in the favor of Team Ice, but now they have to run. There's too many. Potential big fight. And Poppy does have those bonus scalings as well. Bengi wants to track Soaz once again. Ghosting in. We've seen this before. Soaz can he turn it with the healing reduction. is absolutely massive in this exchange. Does get knocked out. Spent potentially in trouble, but Bengi gonna pick that one up quite easily. Smep seems to be figuring out the uh... Smep moving forward is gonna throw down a bit more damage. Bangy's on the backside. He's already ulted though and it may be a little bit too early. Smep's taken down Xpeke. The damage from Jace a little bit too much. Now they're gonna have to run for their life. Flash the wall from Yankos. He's in trouble. So is finally in the fight. Is he gonna get the ult down? Yes. Only hits one though. Maybe looking for a little bit more. No test of spirit quite yet. Depth charge goes in and down goes Yanko. So as has to fight now like a man possessed. The healing reduction will come in. It's a lot going over the wall. So as wants a little more. Can he get prey? Not gonna get it. Mithy on the way in. Fire out. Early mid to uh, mid to early and mid game. And then big fight.
SK punishes, and now they're taking Baron. But nothing oh. Reckless does a lot of damage here, so they have to be careful. Kind of poking into the fight. They're gonna try to CC him, but Nautilus gonna hook the wall instead. Going a little bit lower. Ever closer to that spine point. They are gonna get it in the end. Reckless not gonna even get the 1v1. Smeb making it out. Dangerous game, just a bit too much. Taking it to save land everything in succession. However, what is now path for fire? Other than picking up a kill on Miffy. Good start. Might be able to do. Ooh, nice flash out on the end side. Step on the axe. Miffy making some fancy footwork. The chilling smite. Gonna cut his frames down. And thank you. Just gonna pick up a little redemption. Pops the flare as well. Suddenly playing with the confidence that we didn't see in the early game. They're looking to get on Faker. Faker moving forward. Decent damage coming in from the Oahe, but Soaz taking so much back in return. That's fear not gonna get brought quite yet now. First up, decent damage. The team is on the way. We could be looking at a full fight. Baker going to drop. That's a good start to it, but Peke is getting taken down on the backside. Mad Life, Prey, Bangy moving forward. Yankos, not quite. Has to be just super hard engaged in vision as melee bruises, and that so rarely works at the highest level. Exactly. It's really, really hard for Europe to like start a team fight by hard engaging. They need to like flank oh, around. He's getting picked off. Bangy just going to use the Ragnarok to make his way out. A decent amount of damage. Procs going down on the mark of the storm, but not enough. Good stunned up here. Cocoon does connect on the fray, but only four members left. So has a lot of power on the allow. He does hit two with the technical slam. Peke going in. Does get burned down instantly. The Jace damage. Too much. So has though. Holds up. Ted Spirit goes down. Mad Life gonna be set to fall. They're trading back and forth here. He's the guy engaging and does go down. And let's see here. Fight around the blue buff. Oh, Yanko takes a lot of damage. Baker maybe looking for that one. Flash got in. Idol of Durant. Yanko's gonna get dropped there. Spent more than happy to take the blue buff. Bangy now running out. Not a whole ton of damage here, but this one starts to move forward. This mount. Will Bangy start to turn? Throws the axe back to try to disengage. Ghost has been popped. It may just be the pick here for Yankos. Yeah, but there's people on the way. I don't know if he's going to be able to grab it. Just looking for the Venomous Bite to close out. Will not need it. So well, could be the highest of Spear, and he's trapped, though. He's all alone. Flashes up the wall. Death Tart's still going to connect. It's going to hit two as well. Soas has to back off. He's damage coming from the backside for Prey. Something wrong about double teleport being against an EU team, against a Peke team. Uh, really well played by LCK with the teleports all game long. Honestly, Mad Life might go down. Reckless, keep your eyes on the cannon. Does have the ultimate available. And Yanko's fearless on the front line, but he may get popped. Smeb is locked up. Tentacle Smash goes down. Not going to connect. Redemption going in, looking for the heal. But who is it? Going to be inside a team fire. Soaz now gets the test of Spirit. Mad Life could be in trouble. Soaz staying around the tower to tank it out, but shut down onto Smeb. He gets caught out. The next Peke is still alive on the bottom side. Yeah, he's one versus two here. Faker going for him, gets the slow. Really fast, starting to spin. TP coming in. Can they burn him down? Nice footwork to move it out. Galio skill shot's very slow. So as is here, he wants to start a party. The tentacles are coming down. Will they be able to cut through him? Test of spirit. Prey now cursed, but he doesn't have any way to chase these guys down. He's one of the best at going in and out of fights. He's not going to allow Soaz to escape, but oh, there's another spirit enemy. That could be massive. Can he do anything? No. Prey walking out unscathed. He is that mobile AD carry, so just closing the distance on Prey and killing him instantly, hard to do. Uh, so as caught out once again, healing's reduced, and oh. that means he's gonna get popped instantly. Too much damage, not enough armor. Lord Dominic's as well as the mortal reminder, he's not gonna find anything there. And now Mithy, the one in trouble, does look for the ult to disengage, but may get caught out, does sidestep in the end. Shock Blast gonna take him. Baker looking for the 2v1 in the meantime, but Peke gonna grab another kill. Redemption comes down. Not gonna save anyone. Close, scrappy duels, but once Fire finds the lead, once we get out of that mid game, it is LCK. We've been able to find it, close it out with confidence. Reckless with one last desperate play, but Yankos gets popped. Reckless is next on the menu. Not even gonna make it into the spawn as the ace comes out from the LCK. Team Fire looking to pick up 100 points here. And Korea reminding us why they are on top of the world. An all star lineup crushing through each and every other region. Yep, Korea no. Not like Korea we ever forgot it. I oh. mean, I don't think there was anyone. I forgot for about 30 seconds when X Pekka got that Garen double kill. Very true. We had a brief moment where we were like, oh, this is it. Just like last year where Europe took them down. Nope. LCK, 300 points obviously picked up by these guys in these. Uh, Regional clashes. And yeah, picking up the slack of some of the struggles that Team Fire actually has had in the fun modes. And the fun modes have gone pretty much over Team Ice, and they're in a really good spot also okay. to win the shorts. one ones. The shorts being repped. Shorts feels appropriate, the bruisers. 